All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are live. I'm starting about a minute early. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. Thank you, as always, for taking the time to listen to my video. And I got a sleeper pick that I think many people may be overlooking that could potentially have some value to it, and you can get this book easily for under $10. Of course, I'm sure in a day or two after people watch this video, that will no longer be the case, so this will pay to be here watching early. But like I always say, wait for deals, try and make deals happen. You know, just because a person is selling a book for a certain price and they don't even have a best offer does not mean you cannot contact them. I do it all the time and you will save yourself a lot of money that way. I saved myself hundreds of dollars doing that and I just saved about 75 to 85 dollars off a, a group of books that is coming from Canada where they weren't having a best offer and I contacted them and we made a deal. So make sure you know what you're doing. Make sure you also know that when it comes to speculation, investments, things like that, there are always risks involved. There are no guarantees. So I want to mention that all the time. But if you buy a book for five bucks and it doesn't work out, big deal. If you spend $100 and it doesn't work out, it's going to sting a little bit more. So be patient, do your due diligence, trust your own instincts, and always know there is a gamble. But it, the more you research, the less likely you are to lose that gamble. That's why I tend to win more times than I lose when it comes to spec comics, because I pay attention, I trust my instincts, I do my research, and I will not overpay, although I have done it once or twice, because it does happen, but if the price goes up in a few years, then that's irrelevant at that point. It just means I don't get as much profit. All right, I'm starting to see people starting to come in. And out of 17 people, five people have already liked it. So I always thank you guys. Um, I want to give a special shout out to one of my subscribers. His name is uh, Laro or Loro. I always, I always make sure I try and pronounce it right, but forgive me if I don't. Um, he sent me a PayPal email the other day. And I just wanted to say thank you. That was unexpected and very kind and definitely very helpful. I mean, I appreciate everything you guys do. But again, special shout out. Um, don't forget also, and I'm about to show the comic. I just want to make sure enough people are coming in. In two days, that cashback bonus is done. So if you have not signed up, click the link. It's in the description. It's in the live chat. If you click on the link and you sign up and you spend $30 before August 6th, you will get a $30 cashback bonus. And it doesn't have to be comics. It could be anywhere you want that's affiliated with the program. Make sure you activate it before you purchase anything. Otherwise, it will not happen. Keep in mind, it's not an instant $30 payment. Um, it takes... They, they make the payments every quarter because basically they want to make sure somebody doesn't get the bonus and then just returns whatever they got. So understand that it will take a while. And then they will pay you either via PayPal... Or if you don't have PayPal, they can mail you a check. Just keep in mind that that will take a little longer. So that link is in the description and in the live chat. It helps me because if you make the purchase, I get a one-time fee. So just signing up does not do anything for me. And it doesn't do anything for you for that matter. All right, so with that being said, we have enough people coming in. And uh, don't forget to wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscribe shout out. Let me put on the video camera. Um, I already unboxed this. This is a book that I think, in my opinion, many people are going to overlook. And it's one I would highly recommend getting because as of now, like I said, you can get this book for easily under $10, probably under 5 But, you know, shipping and handling sometimes, it's going to raise the price a little bit. So the average between 5 and $10. The book that I am recommending, this is the Spider-Man Free Comic Book Day book. Now, this was supposed to be the first appearance of Virus. This was supposed to come out months ago. But because of what's going on in the world, they did not do the free comic book day. So this was on hiatus until recently. So this may have some significance, even though it is no longer technically the first appearance of Virus because other books have come out since then. But it still has a story that involves an early appearance of Virus that originally was supposed to be the first appearance. So I feel this book has some significance. Now I paid, I don't have the total price, but I paid about $4.84 a piece for these. I bought like 10 or 15 copies, between 10 and 15, I don't have the exact amount, and for me to show 15 
copies is just ridiculous because it's the same thing. But first of all, I love the artwork. And second of all, it's going if if virus becomes somebody po really popular and who knows, and like I say there's always a gamble involved in his risks. This could be an important book that many people may overlook because when the rumors were coming out before this book was supposed to be published and before, you know, all the situations in the world happened, people were paying up to 80 to 100 dollars for this book. I'm sure they're a little upset about that now. And that's why I always say there are risks involved. So I'm glad I didn't promote this months ago because I would have been hammered for that. But who would have realized that a situation that's going on now would happen? I mean, you know, that's something that comes out of total left field. But now you can easily, I've seen this on eBay, between 3 and $5 plus whatever they ship, they charge for shipping. If you buy it in bulk, you probably get it for 3 bucks a piece. And to me, that is worth it to take the chance on. Now, obviously, if your comic book store is giving these away, I don't know if any of the stores are giving them away at this point. So if your store does give them away, you know, you can always call your local comic book store and ask them if they have this book and then ask them, you know, are you charging for it or is it still free? Because if you can get it for free, then it might be worth it going to your local comic book store. But just keep in mind, they're most likely only going to let you get take one of them. So this is a book that I feel has potential. It does have what was supposed to be the first appearance of a new character. It still will be having significance because this book was made months ago. It just didn't publish months ago. So there's some technicalities here. So who knows? Maybe one day, you know, they have changed first appearances before with CGC and CBCS and PGX. So you never know. One day they could potentially say, well, this book technically was made before the other books and wasn't published. Now, I doubt that'll happen, but it's not impossible. I would say the chances of them doing that is probably less than 5%. So I would not gamble based on what I just said. But again, nothing is impossible. And if that ever did happen, despite how remote a chance that may be, then all of a sudden you're talking this to become a major key issue. But again, I would not bet the farm on that. So that is the book that I feel is a sleeper pick. If you agree and you think this one has potential, Make sure you hit that like button. Let me know that you guys appreciate the videos that I do. Uh, hit subscribe if you haven't. And don't forget, next Sunday, I'm going to be doing part two of my comic sale. Uh, as of now, three books from the sale the other day have been sold. So at this point, if no one wants to pay the full price, I am willing to listen to offers as long as they're fair offers. I mean, if, if I'm selling a book for 500 and somebody offers me 50 I'm just going to tell them to have a nice day. But if you're interested, check out that video. Um, the Tales of Suspense 52 has been sold. The Spider-Man uh, Bagley variant is sold. The Ultimate End number one is sold. And I think that is it as of now. So everything else is still available. But on Tuesday, I'm sorry, next Sunday at 12 noon Eastern time... Part two of that sale will happen, and those are all the graded books. So hopefully you'll stick around and find out about those. And it will be first come, first serve. And if somebody if somebody doesn't buy a book within 24 hours, I will accept potential offers. I can't guarantee just because you make an offer, I'm going to take it. Because the beautiful thing about, especially the comics that I have, is 90% of them are going to increase in value over time. So if they don't sell... I'll just hold on to them and let them increase in value. So let's do today's surprise subscriber shout out. Thank you to the 25 people that were kind enough to hit the like button. I did do a poll earlier this morning. Hopefully you will uh, go check that out and leave your little remark. Uh, we're going to go with Super Soldier Comics. You are today's surprise subscriber shout out. Even if you're not a subscriber, you still get the shout out. Hopefully you will subscribe if you have not. And again, if I do a surprise subscriber shout out and you have a YouTube channel, as long as it's not porn or some, you know, degrading kind of channel, I will allow you to post your link in this video or any video that you're, you're named the surprise subscriber shout out and hopefully it'll help promote your channel and get you a couple subscribers. So uh, if you're still listening, 
and you got the surprise subscriber shout out. So Super Soldier Comics, if you have a, a YouTube channel, post the link in the description. I will first, I have to verify just to make sure it's not an inappropriate site. And if it's not, I will approve it and hopefully people will uh, click on it, watch a video or two, and maybe even subscribe. So thanks for watching everybody. Um, James says, it makes more sense for that to be the first appearance when Virus, who is a new character, appears in Venom 25. Venom already knows who he is. Well, like I said, you know, think origins and first appearance, well, not origins, but first appearances have changed over time. So you never know. Like I said, it may be possible that one day they, the masses decide that this is technically the first appearance. It depends on what people purchase. That's really going to set the standard. So, I would not hold my breath on that happening, but it is possible. And if that does, and you bought ten of these books, or one of these books for $4, $5, and $10, and it changed one day, now all of a sudden it goes to 100 200 500 overnight. But again, I am not going to guarantee that, but nothing is impossible. I wouldn't go... If, if I'm a betting person, I go with what is most likely. That scenario is not most likely. But I still think it will have some significance because of the fact it technically once was supposed to be his first appearance. And many people may pass up on that book now because it is technically no longer the first appearance. And that's where you could buy a book cheap and take the chance. So if you're going to take a chance on the book, on any book or anything that you invest in, as long as you've done your research and you've done your homework and you know what you're doing and you trust your instincts and you pay as minimum as possible and you try and make deals happen, you know, you're going to win more than you'll lose, but no one's 100%. So definitely keep that in mind. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you appreciate this video. Thank you to the 30 people that hit the like button. The, the rest of you, thank you for watching. Maybe you'll hit the like button at some point, And if not, that's quite all right. So enjoy the rest of your day. A new video will be coming out most likely tomorrow. And do not forget, it is not you. It is not I. It is we. Love comics. Happy hunting. Leave your comments after the beep.